So we're now going to have a look at the tarsal tunnel or the medial aspect of the ankle joint itself. We can see here the medial malleolus and we're going to be looking in this region just posterior to it where we know that we've got the tibialis posterior, the flexor digitorum, a neurovascular bundle and the flexor hallucis longus most posteriorly. The easiest way to look at this is to utilise your probe in a short axis view on the ankle here. Okay, so I'm going to place my probe on and immediately I'm going to start to see some structures very clearly on my screen. Now if we start off most anteriorly we can see the tibialis posterior tendon is the largest tendon that we can first of all see here. If I reduce my depth slightly that makes it a little bit bigger. When you look at this tendon on cadaveric specimens, you will certainly see that it almost has its own bespoke groove on the medial malleolus. But it's the largest tendon at this point as we come through, and it tends to sort of start to move into a slightly stretched or more uh, oval shape tendon as it comes round the corner and then starts to head down towards its distal insertion onto the navicular. Bear in mind that there's a small pocket of fluid here and that's quite normal to see. That's a normal residual amount of fluid within the tendon sheath of the tibialis posterior. It's not indicative of pathology. We can then follow that tendon all the way down and travel around into the long axis and see it attach really nicely there onto the navicular bone, which is here. We can see the tendon fibres there very, very clearly at that point. Coming through and then that slightly widened V-shape sucker type appearance onto the navicular bone before it travels more proximally. If we then come back into short axis and run our probe back up the foot, it's useful at this point to try and offer a little bit of eversion to tension these structures up, we're back into what's called the tarsal tunnel, aren't we, at this point? And we can actually see very clearly here now the flexor retinaculum coming all the way over the top of these structures, and that keeps it nice and tight and creates the tunnel that those structures lie within. You can see it very, very clearly here on this fantastic machine. If we come back to the tendons, we know that we've got tibialis posterior and that next tendon along, slightly more posterior, is then flexor digitorum. And as we start to come proximal, you'll see it comes into muscle quite early, or if you like, the muscle belly lies quite low, quite late, as it starts to come into that last bit of muscular tenderness junction before it becomes tendon. If we travel slightly more posterior still, I'm going to reduce my depth slightly at this point. We can see lots of anechoic structures at this point. Some of them we can squash, and those are the veins. And one we can't, which is in the middle here, with a bit more acoustic enhancement deep to it. Now we can use the Doppler function here and drag our box across, and we can see that pulse in very, very clearly there. And that is the posterior tibial artery. If we travel that little bit further back again, we can then start to see that very distinct appearance of the tibial nerve. Just going to bring my camera up slightly so you can follow where I am. If I stop there and we just highlight that area, that is your posterior tibial nerve or tibial nerve sitting in that tarsal tunnel. And you can see how it sits underneath the retinaculum there very clearly. This is your artery with your associated veins. Here is the retinaculum coming over the top, and there is my tibial nerve. If I get that a little bit crisper there for you before I freeze it, you can see it a bit more clearly. This is the tibial nerve sitting here. Now the last structure that we're looking for in this region is the flexor hallucis longus, and it sits that little bit more posterior. So again, find those other previous structures and then just look slightly deeper to the tibial nerve. And in here, you'll see a tendon. Here it is. And the remaining muscle of it often will still be visible here 
as well, that little bit more posteriorly. And if I ask the patient at that point to wiggle their big toe for me, you'll see that tendon move and flick underneath the tibial nerve at that point, okay? And this is my flexor hallucis longus tendon. And if I come round long on that at that point, you'll see the tendon again. If I get the patient to, again, wiggle their big toe, we'll see that tendon move there over the back of the ankle joint and then start to come out into muscular tenderness at this point over here, which you can then see clearly deep to the Achilles tendon more posteriorly. So that is your classic view of the tarsal tunnel. We've got tibialis posterior, flexor digitorum, the tibial artery or the posterior tibial artery, the tibial nerve, which is quite a large nerve, and then deep to that, you've got your flexor hallucis longus tendon.